We're very in involved in whatever the need is, whether it's locally or statewide or nationally, and now we're involved with some international uh, needs, and, and that's with uh, Ukraine. So back in March of 2020, I received a phone call that somebody was going to be donating an ambulance from the Chicago area, and they needed equipment to stock the ambulance. We provided the items to help stock the ambulance, and he had somebody to donate the ambulance, and they sent that over to Ukraine. And once that first ambulance was sent over there, we found out the need was so much greater. Back in January, uh, Life Care donated three ambulances, and some other people donated some ambulances, and we took 10 ambulances and a fire truck to Ukraine in January. We flew into Warsaw, Poland, and went to the location where the vehicles were staged and then actually drove the vehicles into Ukraine. And then we went all the way across uh, Ukraine from the Polish border all the way over to the Odessa area and then stopped in various cities and would drop off an ambulance or two at the, each location until we got to our final destination where we dropped off the fire truck and the final ambulance. It was definitely uh, an anxious feeling because when we were at the border, it took us about seven hours by the time we were uh, permitted to cross, it was nighttime. And the first thing I noticed was there were lights on in Poland, but as soon as we crossed into Ukraine, it was pitch black. So we drove for about two and a half hours to get to our first destination, and it was just completely dark the entire time other than our headlights. It was definitely in the back of our mind that we were in a dangerous area because we had a convoy of 10 ambulances and a fire truck driving through the country, so it was always in our mind that we could be a target. Unfortunately, they bombed hospitals and daycare centers, and when we went to the capital in Kyiv, we had a request from one of the local physicians to go to an orphanage. And we had not planned on doing that, but we took the fire truck and one of the ambulances over there. And it was a very rewarding experience for us because there were about 300 children in that orphanage and we allowed them to come out in groups and they could climb in the fire truck and climb through the ambulance and just seeing their smiles and, and the happiness that that brought to them. It was very rewarding to see that all the equipment that we were sending over there was truly getting used as we intended it to be used.